good morning, my brothers and sisters. I pray God has allowed you to see another day, allowed you to witness his glory again and again. Last night we studied some things about what Paul was saying in 1 Corinthians. <clears throat> One of the things that stuck out the most, Paul was making it very clear in our study last night that he was just the messenger nothing more he was just the one that God had set apart to teach to preach the good news the second thing that Paul was saying in there and I love it because Paul made it very clear that he was grateful for each and every one of the people who came to know Jesus I am ever grateful that God used me to lead others to Christ, to lead you all to effectually studying His Word, to making God's Word none effect in your hearts. This is the point I try to get at with a lot of people. Is we have to start focusing our mindsets on the Word and on what God would have us do each day. Not of our own anger, our own worry, our own fear, our own strife, but focus on the very Word of God and what God would have us do in this situation. You see, I could I could flatter you, just like Paul said, I could flatter you with pretty words and the world's wisdom. But what point would it be to do so? Because it's not of God. It doesn't lift you up. It doesn't edify you. You see, our goal is to strengthen you up in the Word of God. <clears throat> and we can't do that if we're using puffed up words that have no meaning to you. So today, my friends, my brothers and sisters, let us not focus on the stress of the day but focus on the glory of God. Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you this morning for waking us up. Lord, we thank you for allowing us another day to do something for you, O oh Lord. To be your light in a dark place. To be your messengers, O oh God. <clears throat> Lord, we just thank you and praise you that we may have mountains to face. But we know you are our deliverer. We know you are our shield. We know you are our buckler, O oh Lord. We know you're the one that makes our armor strong. Lord, we just thank you and praise you. And we give you the glory, God. That no matter what happens, we know you are beside us, O oh God, when we honor you. And God, we just ask you to watch over your children today, O oh Lord. Give them peace when they're battling their medical issues, their financial issues, their struggles, O oh Lord. Carry them through them struggles in your will, O oh God. Lead them beside the still waters. Send your ravens to them, Lord, to supply them. God, you used birds to bring Elijah food by the brook when he waited for you, O oh God. You delivered David from times of trouble, O oh Lord. You delivered Daniel from the lion's den. Young David from Goliath. And you delivered your people from Egypt. Lord, we just thank you and praise you. And we give you the glory, O oh God. We give you the praise, O oh Lord. You are our strong tower. You are our refuge, O oh God. You are our banner. You are our provider. You are our king. We just thank you and praise you, Lord. Lord, we ask you to watch over your children today. Give them peace. Give them strength. Give them joy. And bless our enemies, oh God. Give them what they want, oh God. A 
allow them to live their best life. Whether we may not see it or not, but you have a purpose and a plan. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Love you guys. God bless you.